Hello, welcome to the month of June. Praise God. Hey, I'm so excited. You know why I'm excited? The Lord has said that in this month, He is releasing a, a measure of the Spirit on us that will cause us to be witnesses of Him indeed. I love that. I love that. I love that. Now, when, when, when the Spirit of God says something like this, how do you respond to it? Many don't know. How do you respond? See, first of all, you respond by receiving it. And then you give Him thanks for it. Now the Lord says, I'm releasing a measure of the Spirit on you that will cause you to be witnesses indeed. So, I'm really going to be a witness of Jesus. Yeah, I'm going to explain what that means to you, praise God. But you know what? We, we are having our prayer meeting and our fasting going on right now. Listen, get on the next watch. I'm telling you, get on the next watch. The, 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 the address is on your screen. Just get on the next watch. And join us and, and, and release, release into this month. First of all, release yourself that the Spirit of God will walk on you and through you. See that now? And then also, you, you just bless the Lord because I see great things happening in your life this month. Now, now, hey, 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 hey. Can we call for that daily bread? Praise <laughs> God. Say, Father, I demand... On this first day of the month of June, my daily bread for June, I demand it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Say, Lord, I am conscious I've got bread to receive from you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Listen, we are releasing angels Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I don't know what you're thinking for, for the month of June. Listen, every month your life must increase. Every month your life must increase. You must expand. You must do well. You've got to do well. Praise God. Why? Because God loves you. You can't walk with God and just be stagnant. Say so the path of the just is a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto that perfect day. So we keep shining brighter until we look exactly like him. Because that's what he said. He says, as he is. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Exactly how he is. So we are in this world. Praise God. Now that's what I've been sharing with you. The exceeding greatness of his power. From Ephesians chapter 1. And verse 19, he says that you will know what is the exceeding greatness of his power. How great that power is. How great. I told you that power is like a dynamo. Now that power was released when the Holy Ghost came to you. Jesus said it. You will receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. That's why Jesus made bold to declare in, 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 in Mark chapter 16. He says, This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out devils. How will they cast out devils? Because of the power of the Holy Ghost walking in them. See that? He said they will speak with new tongues. How will they speak with new tongues? Because of the power of the Holy Ghost walking in them. He says they shall take up serpents. How? Because of the power of the Holy Ghost. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Why? Because this same Holy Ghost vitalizes their mortal body and their system. How then can poison walk in their bodies? He said they shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Why? Because there is so much power they carry. They place their hands on a sick person. The sickness cannot stay. <laughs> oh, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. So this power affects our utterance. It affects what we say. Now, when he says they shall speak with new tongues, he actually is referring to they shall speak anew. Their way of speaking would change. 
So not only will they speak in tongues, Liki, Mabroko, Zikita, Bradia, you will begin to notice, and I'll tell you this truth, the way to notice a man's life is changing is from his tongue, from the words he speaks. If you've had a friend for a long time, and, and, and you, 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 if you're sensitive, you don't really have to be very sensitive. I mean, if you're just observant, you will begin to notice that someone's life is changing by the words they speak. You can tell. You can tell. You can tell when they began to associate with other people. You can tell the kind of people they associated without seeing them with those people, but hearing the things they say. When your children come back, you know, you suddenly you begin to hear your children speak some um, strange words. Now you, you first start thinking, who are they associating with? It could be the television, it could be friends in school, but you just know that there is something new in this child's life. I remember a few years ago, you know, our daughter began to speak, you know, say certain things. So we paused and like, come, where is this coming from? And so we, my wife and I, we began to trace. And then we asked, do you have a new um, friend in your class? And she said, yes. What's her name? Oh, she told us the name. I said, okay. Is he your friend? Say, yeah. The, that person said these things, said, yeah, uh-huh, see that now? We, cause, cause you, you know the measure of control and in the environment you have placed around you. So when, and it, it's good as a parent to detect those things early, and then you begin to use them to teach. See, he said, we don't say these things. And this is the reason we don't say these things. Because if you say these things, this is the future that you're creating. This is what you are creating. See that now? So if you don't listen, if you're not observant, people will be changing around you and you will not know. And one day, there are spouses that are not observant to their, to their spouse. Husbands are not observant to their wives. So you don't know when someone is new. You, 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 you tell yourself, oh, my wife doesn't go out, she's just always at home. But you don't realize that she, she's been having fellowship with several people around the world on her phone. You don't realize that. You are priding yourself, my wife doesn't go out, but then you are not observant to see that her language is changing. See that now? Thank you, Holy Spirit. And from that language, you can tell where the person is going. You know, you, you, you know someone, every time he's always begging, every time he calls you, you don't want to pick the call because you, you just know that. This call is going to end with a debit in your account. You know, this call is surely going to end. This call, by the end of this call, my account is going to be debited because I can't say no to this person. And so you know this person. And then all of a sudden, the person calls you and says, Oh, how are you? Say, Look, I'm, I'm super great today. Like, uh huh. What's going on? <laughs> That's the first thing. What's going on? Now, you're you used to this way. Oh, how are you today? Mm, so, 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 you know, uh, these people have come again with their trouble. Uh -huh, you know where the conversation is going. But then someone, you call the person or the person calls you like, oh, how are you? Look, I'm so great today. Uh-huh. What's going on? Ah, no, 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 no. Today is a great day. Listen, eh? I'm working on something. By the time I'm done, oh, you are going to hear me. Ah, ha, hey, who have you been talking to? <laughs> Praise God. Where have you been going to? See that now? Now you can tell. With that, you can tell that something good is happening in this person's life. And, and when the person shows up tomorrow with a new car, and say, look at what the Lord has done. You will say, yeah, I knew it a month ago. I knew it a few months ago. How did you know? Oh, from the way you speak, from the way you talk. I knew something was going on in your life. Same way, you see a brother who's vibrant, prosperous, he's doing so well, and then you call him, say, oh, how are you doing? He say, this life, hmm, this life, hmm. Now you just know that uh, something is going on in this person's life. And if you don't check it 
at that moment, this person is going to come back with tales of woes that have happened in his life. It all begins from your mouth. That's why Jesus said, if you believe in Jesus, you will speak new words. You will speak with a new tongue. Because he that he's going to control what you say. And I'll tell you this, anyone who truly speaks in other tongues will have their vocabularies change. Why? Because tongue is a language. And the more we speak in tongues, the more those spiritual words we speak feeds our, men our mentality. It feeds our brain. It feeds our mind. Because I'll tell you this, when you are speaking in other tongues and you know what you're doing, because sometimes people speak in other and their minds are shut. You're not supposed to shut your mind when you're praying in other tongues. Like, just shut your mind and pray in tongues. Just sh shut your mind. No, you don't shut your mind to pray in tongues. While you're praying in tongues, your mind is open. Why? Because you receive into your mind. You receive into your mind. Now, you pray in tongues by the Spirit. See, so the Holy Ghost gives you utterance. And as He gives you utterance, you speak. You speak those words without analyzing them. Because you trust the one who's giving them to you. So you don't process them, you speak it. You don't process them, you speak it. But while you are speaking it, in your mind, because you, the Holy Ghost gives you and then you author, hey, <laughs> now, God said something. He says, <laughs> my words would not return to me void. My words would not return to me void. That tells you something. His words return to him. <laughs> Every word you speak, it returns to you. Now God says, my own, it will not return to me void. Why? What's it returning to do? It says, it will accomplish the thing for which I send it, and it will prosper in it. What's, what's it say? When my word returns to me, it will return to me with the report that it has accomplished what I sent it to, and that it prospered in it. Now, when you speak, when you speak in tongues, the Holy Ghost is giving you words, is giving you utterance, and then you speak them. Those words return. Now, because you, you released your mouth. They came out from your mouth. They return to you. Now, when they return to you, they, they begin to impress on your mind. They begin to impress. They put the words you're speaking in tongues. They begin to put pressure on your mind. Now, Holy Spirit, how do we explain this thing for people to understand? <laughs> Listen. If, 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 if your speaking in tongues is not making you intelligent, you're not doing it right. Because those words return to you and suddenly new thoughts, new ideas, why you're praying. Now that's why five minutes prayer will not do the job. Ten minutes prayer will not do the job. You pray in tongues. I'm talking about praying in tongues now. You pray in tongues as often as you can. Because while you're speaking those words, Likan de Zubra da Geda Vrodije, Naiko tu si bra can ne le coma ne cole pelihila, Elio zobre tega di la braca sunde kenda munga nega. And suddenly, suddenly in your mind, you begin to. It begins to come to you. Do you know if you mix white and, and, and this, you, you are going to get this. I'm like, Lekunde kinda kanabadi kenai. I've never thought about this before. Whoa. Now, what do you think is going on? See, 
you, you are bringing things from the spirit and then it is hitting back on your mind. It is hitting back on your mind. New ideas are coming. You, now you, you may be looking for something. It's been lost for weeks. It's been lost for months. Then suddenly you begin to just say, check the back of that wardrobe in your room. Check the back of that wardrobe. You know, what's, what's the back? Why, why am I? Th now, now you, you, that day, you, it's not like you have searched the whole house that day. And so, Holy Spirit, help. You, you're just having fellowship with the Lord and you're praying in tongues. It just keeps coming to your mind. The back, the back of the wardrobe in your room. The back of the wardrobe in your room. The back of the wardrobe in your room. Like, okay, let me go check. And I said, oh, 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 this is where you've been hiding. Praise God. Yeah, that's what happens. They will speak with new tongues. Yeah that you will understand the power that is working in you. That you will understand. You have not put the power to work. Our time is up. <laughs> you can just tell how the month of June is going to be if you practice this thing. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How? Listen. <laughs> Join the next prayer meeting. Come on, let's just fellowship with God, pray in other tongues, and begin to. I told you, the Lord says He's releasing a great measure of His Spirit to make us or cause us to be witnesses of this thing. So, this month, as you speak, you will see the performance of what you're saying. In the name of the Lord Jesus, get on the next prayer watch. Come on now, <laughs> praise God. I'll see you then. God bless you. Bye.